What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys why and how we ended up with XFX fans on an ASRock GPU, specifically an RX 5700 XT. It's the Challenger D edition, right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mind ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to eight percent cash back in addition to the visa debit card there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue on your investments join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Welcome back. So essentially I had four GPUs last week pretty much go out on me as far as fans go. And we will be doing a tutorial on how to figure out, you know, what fans go where and how to take apart individual GPUs. But for today's purposes, I just wanted to talk about this particular situation, which has to do with the ASRock because these ASRock Challenger GPUs do have their fans die quite often. So you need to have some additional options to replace them and two of the four GPUs that have had fans die over the past year has been on these ASRock specifically the other GPUs was an XFX GPU hence uh, why maybe the fan part numbers match by the way and then we had two MSI, so actually five total cards, excuse me, because I did remember one of the MSIs we were actually working on. The fan kind of works. We cleaned it out. Technically, I'm going to replace it anyways because it's kind of just not working very well or I'm worried about it not working. So let's just say five GPUs, two of them were the MSIs. Of course, I have 60 of the MSI RX 5700 XTs. And so having two of the fans go out over a year, year and a half here that we've been mining with them isn't too awful, awful right? So at this point, Basically, what we had done was take down or tear down the GPU. If you guys need to basically have an idea on how to do that for the ASRock, we do have a replace thermal pad uh, guide on this channel, and you can definitely go check that out. And then we will be doing a replace fan guide for this GPU as well, in case you want step-by-step -step for that in particular. But once we had that t torn down and we basically took the fan housing off of the actual heat sink itself with just four screws. It's super simple on this particular model. We pulled that off and basically pulled the fans out with three screws there and checked the part number. That part number does match these MSI GPUs. The problem that you will run into is a little bit of extra cable on the ASRock GPU uh, GPUs in particular so you have to tuck those away and make sure that you get them basically managed properly when hooking it back up but we do have it up and running and the fan control works and both fans are spinning up and our temperatures are down now another note about this particular GPU is that we have upgraded the thermal pads on them while I usually use those cheap blue thermal pads on a ton of GPUs most of my GPUs around the 5000 series and below so the RX 580s on the 3090s and 3080s I've been using the GLID GC extreme pads the 15 watt pads i'll leave them linked down below and i put them on this because if you guys aren't aware they don't have the actual heat sinks for the memory modules directly attached to the heat sink for everything else it's a terrible design on the asrock gpus however we're just gonna have to live with it now previously we were having the temperatures crest over 100 degrees celsius we weren't getting into the thermal throttling stages on the asrock itself fortunately but we did want to try to improve that and we went ahead and added the glid 
pads to this particular GPU. And now we're sitting around 92C while hashing away with a memory overclock on this GPU. So I'm pretty happy with the performance of this GPU now at this point. We'll show you guys some screenshots of all of, of course, the, the temperatures. And basically, if you guys are looking at finding fans for this particular GPU, you can find them on Amazon. They're just gonna be marked XFX. They will work. And those are the XFX for the RX 580s. So another thing to keep in mind is for the XFX 5600 and 5700 XTs, they upgraded the fans to a different fan. And we'll be talking about that here coming up later this week when we do some tutorials on that. I'm hoping I can catch up with all of the content and I apologize for some sparse content as of late. I'm currently trying to kick a nicotine habit, which I have successfully done for six, six or seven days now. And I'm going to try to continue that. So hopefully it won't interfere as much anymore. I was dealing with some depression from it and hopefully that is subsided or starts to subside. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.